All right, Shalom. This is the Wah Judah. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders of apostles of Great Millstone, Christianist Word, Truthfully and Sicilian. Shalom to the Akim that's got through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. I say shalom to you, Akim, out there. And the title of this lesson is going to be uh, Up Worlds of the People. And I'm going to bring out a scripture for that. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 10. And it reads, Then said he, said he unto them, Nation should rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Right? Because, you know, we see in it uh, right now, in these times that we are living in, you know, just like uh, I seen a, a, a video that was uh, uploaded uh, from the Akim. They showed uh, over there in uh, South Africa, you know, you know, if they looting over there, setting things on fire, you know, doing violence against each other. Then I seen the video they showed where uh, a so-called East Indian down there and the so-called uh, white South African, you know, they was uh, targeting uh, the Israelites down there, you know, the black South Africans, because, you know, Israel was scattered down there as well, too. So, you know, that's a, uh, an example right there, you know, nation should rise against nation. And you're going to have uh, kingdom against kingdom, you know, around the world as well, too. You know, you're seeing these other nations, you know, I've seen one, uh, I think it was like day before yesterday, I've seen another report of, uh, you know, Taliban, you know, uh, the Taliban over there, they, uh, fighting against the uh the people over there in uh, Af Afghanistan I believe you know and they in uh and I guess the uh, the Afghan army you know since the US troops been pulled out of there for the Biden Biden administration did that cuz you know once fully all the US troops been withdrawn from over there you know you know you get uh the Taliban you know just came out of nowhere to start rejuvenating and trying to take over that whole part of Afghanistan down there. So you know they in war with they in war within with with the, between the uh, the Afghanis, you know, the Taliban down there. And then you know they got hit with airstrikes. You know that's uh, kingdom against kingdom and nation against nation down there as well too. You know you're gonna start to see that at a uh, higher scale, you know, as these uh, prophecies are definitely unfolding, you know, and more pending prophecies is coming as well, too. So, you know, we're living in the time of uh, upworlds of the people is starting to uh, highly increase in these last days. So, you know, it's a lot of, lot of stuff going on in these last days. And, um, And this is the book of Matthews, chapter 24, verse 7, and it reads, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Right? Because, you know, we're seeing uh, the, what you call that uh, new pestilence disease. This is the uh, Delta variant. You know, we're seeing that. You know, you still got a door-to-door -door to make sure you took that shot, you know, uh, requirements of and verification to make sure that you took that shot. Hey, they forcing peoples to take that shot. I seen one video in Argentina, you know, they forcing people to take these shots. So, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a division between those both sides. The people that's uh, going against it and the governments as well too, they going against uh, for people, you know, for the American citizens, uh, for taking those, uh, sh you know, those shots, you know, and forcing people to taking them, and uh, unanimously uh, going through people's doors, 
you know, in these in seven states, you know, they are against that because, you know, it's going to be division on both sides. Just like the scripture says, a nation that can be, a nation that's divided is cannot stand, you know. And you're going to continue to see more earthquakes in diverse places. You know, we're uh, seeing, um, I believe, it over there in Germany and Belgium together. You know, the death tolls went up like crazy. At first, it was like three people dead. You know, it was like heavy thunder, heavy storms over there, heavy floodings over there. You know, it, the death toll went from three to 93 people had that. I let you know the most high, he's, vis he's visiting this place in earthquakes in diverse places. <clears throat> and then you start to see a little, a uh, couple of uh, earthquakes in certain places in the California area, you could still uh, continue to see more wildfires. You know, even though that's on a consistent basis, but you're starting to see that more and more, you know, in the times that we are living in. So, you know, these are the times that we are living in, you know, it's gonna continue to increase in these last days. And I'm gonna bring one scripture to close it out. And this is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. But he that, Salakia, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right, and the same shall be saved. Is Lord willing, we be part of that number, the elect man of Israel, the elect man of Yasharalim, fighting for that 144. As long as we continue to endure it to the end, you know, keep the good faith, keep the faith of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, you know, keeping his commandments to the best of our ability, continue to have faith, continue to do this work of the Lord, as long as the Lord give us that opportunity and the health and strength to be able to do so, you know, health and strength continuously for the elders, apostles, for the elders in our camp, for the Akim and the brotherhood throughout the four corners of the globe. Continue to have peace and blessings and mercy on them as I praise to you, O Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and your son, Yahweh, Shai, as well, too. With uh, meekness, humbleness, and sincerely, you know, and continue to let us have this faith. Continue to let us have the health and strength as we continue to, to praise to you, O Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and your son, Yahweh, Shai, as well, too. So, you know, I ain't wanted to get, uh, make this lesson, uh, too long, but, you know, it was on my spirit, you know, I wanted to do it, you know, a little quick sit-down lesson. So, I uh, hope this was edifying through the spirit of power and grace and mercy of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. Shout out one to the Akim that's got through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And shout out one to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. Until next time, I will say, Shalom.